Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priyanka. I'm a retina consultant in Shekhar Eye Hospital. Uh, today I'll be talking about uh, cardiovascular diseases and uh, how it affects the eye. So when I say cardiovascular diseases, it comprises of uh, multiple entities. So it can be coronary artery disease. So basically diseases which affect the vessels of the heart. It can be stroke. So in this, the vessels to the brain are affected. It can be deep venous thrombosis in which uh, generally the problem is in the blood vessels, in the legs, extremities. Then it can also be uh, comprised of uh, congenital heart diseases. So kids who are born with congenital heart defects. This also is included in cardiovascular diseases. Then uh, rheumatic heart disease, uh, which is an uh, infective form of uh, uh, heart disease. and. Uh, then the last one would be uh, peripheral arterial diseases, which generally affects the uh, fingers and the feet, basically the extremities of the body. So the reason why uh, eye is called a uh, window to the heart is uh, quite apt because the blood vessels which arise from the heart are reaching the eye. So we are seeing the status of the blood vessels and the health of the heart directly in the retina. So when we do a retina examination, we get an idea of how the heart is functioning and if the patient has any defect in that. For example, uh, I'll tell you about one scenario wherein a young gentleman walks in with uh, some blurring of vision or just uh, a routine checkup and on examination we find out that uh, the blood vessels inside the eye have uh, narrowed down and also there are some lipid deposits and some uh, fluid pockets inside the retina and uh, which is quite suggestive of uh, hypertensive retinopathy which has been there since quite some time. When we check the blood pressure of the patient, it comes out to be very high and the patient has no idea that the patient is uh, hypertensive, patient has not been under treatment. So we have uh, diagnosed the patient's hypertension just because of a routine eye examination or just because the patient had come with a little blurring of vision. So now in this kind of situation, because we diagnosed the hypertension, which was which is high blood pressure, which was quite high on that instance, the patient is further referred to a physician and is treated for the same. Had he not come to us, have we had we missed the findings, then the patient would have had a bigger stroke or a heart problem in future if the hypertension was left untreated. So another scenario would be uh, like a patient, uh, say middle age or uh, elderly, coming to us with. Uh, Blurring of vision which has been recent in onset. So on examination of the retina, we find out that a vein to the retina, vein inside the retina has been blocked, which has caused swelling up of the retina. So in such cases, we do a thorough investigation and try to find out why this blockage happened. So generally the patients would already be hypertensive, diabetic on treatment or have had some heart issues also. But when it happens in young, we need to be more careful and do some more investigations about that uh, extra edge to find out why that blockage happened in a young individual. So we put the patient through a few tests and we advise for a physician consultation. And many times we find out causes like increased homocysteine, altered lipid profile, you know, the cholesterol uh, levels is altered or the hypertension which was undetected. So these things are taken care of just because we found out the problem in the eye. The problem in the eye primarily can be treated by injections to the eye and uh, regular follow-up. But uh, when we look at the larger picture that we found out what the problem is and we start treating the problem so that this event which has occurred in the eye doesn't happen elsewhere in the body and cause more devastating outcomes. Uh, another scenario will be uh, like uh, elderly gentlemen or even youngsters nowadays, young people, middle-aged people. We see uh, them coming to us with a complaint of... Uh, a sudden onset partial or complete loss in vision and on examination of the retina we find out that arterial supply to the retina has been blocked so the retina doesn't get any blood supply at all and then they develop a loss of vision so this kind of uh, situation when it happens when there is a complete arterial blockage the chances of visual recovery are very poor and it is almost irreversible but when we look at the larger picture once we see that a patient has come to us with an arterial blockage, we advise the patient investigation, especially, you know, the blood vessels supplying the brain and the eye, which arise from the heart. Those blood vessels can be scanned uh, by a test called a carotid doppler. 
they also advise for echocardiography which is ultrasound of the heart and uh, to treat the patient so in many patients we have found out that uh, because there was a blockage in the eye we found that the blood vessels supplying the brain uh, which uh, line the neck there is a big block or basically a blockage which is there inside the blood vessel and a small element of that blocking element has uh, gone and blocked the blood vessel which supplies the retina now let's imagine had we not uh, detected this blockage uh, the patient would have landed with a major stroke in future basically where the blocking element goes and blocks a large area of the brain so that will be a devastating complication so this way we we have uh, found uh, so many cases wherein the patient presents with a arterial blockage in the eye and uh, after undergoing uh, multiple investigations and uh, after a physician consultation and a vascular surgeon consultation we have found out that uh, there has been an underlying problem and uh, there have been blockages in the blood vessels which required treatment to save the life of the patient and uh, to prevent stroke and other coronary events from happening uh, there are few patients in which uh, we have also seen a blockage of both vein and the artery so in such cases also we have to find out to the risk factor and we need to treat it so all this is uh, done uh, along with the physician and uh, neurologist's uh, uh, care so uh, these are few scenarios in which uh, we have uh, you know uh, found out uh, the underlying systemic problem the body problems because the patient presented to us with the eye issues a few patients also come with uh, uh, you know sudden onset disturbance in vision they are not exactly able to uh, point out what they are feeling but uh, on examination of the eye the eye looks absolutely normal there is no vessel blockage there is no vein blockage no arterial blockage so uh, basically nothing which we can put a finger on so such patients generally who are elderly we advise for mri brain and uh, on doing the mri scan we find out uh, that there has been a stroke which has affected the main vision area inside the brain so uh, now because of uh, this eye finding we find out that the patient had a tendency of stroke which has as of now affected only a small area which in future could have affected a larger area so the patient is uh, referred to a neurosurgeon or a neurologist and the patient is taken care of to prevent further stroke from happening there are few patients who come to us with uh, uh, complaints of uh, vision loss happening for a few seconds and then they regain the vision so this is also called a mini stroke so there is a cut off of blood supply for a few seconds and the blood supply regains but why did this happen is what we need to find out if a patient comes with such complaints we need to do a thorough check up we need to do mri scans if needed of the brain and find out why it happened is there any blockage that is there or impending blockage which can be treated so looking at such scenarios where there are so many uh, entities threatening the eye and the general health in uh, you know in elderly plus young we need to um, impress upon the fact that any vision disturbance be uh, even if you are young or middle aged or old any kind of vision disturbance uh, should be uh, you know taken care of you should uh, visit a uh, ophthalmologist and uh, Uh, get your complete examination done uh, you see the retina especially the it acts as a window to the heart and uh, we have been able to treat and uh, timely treat so many patients and uh, it has affected to increase it has affected them basically to prevent them from going into a more devastating uh, state of major strokes or heart diseases thank you very much so please get yourself uh, checked if you have hypertension diabetes any heart disease we will be very grateful to help thank you